Do not try that at home. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Casey and today's video is going to be a cook with me um, Easter dinner. It is Easter Sunday. We are having a very nasty, rainy Easter. It's actually supposed to start storming around three o'clock, tornadoes possibly. It's two o'clock now, so I wanna go ahead and get the stuff started that I can. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the ham in the Instant Pot and then I'll cook the eggs for the deviled eggs and get the potatoes ready for the potato salad because all that stuff I can put up and then cook the rest of the stuff later at five o'clock when we plan to eat. So I hope you all enjoy. I'm gonna try to do a complete cook through, complete cook with me, but if I'm not able to at some point, then I will just do a voiceover. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. So we're having the ham and I'm gonna cook that with pineapples and light brown sugar. We'll be having macaroni and cheese, homemade, corn, green beans, cornbread, crescent rolls, the potato salad, the deviled eggs, and one of my boys also wants mashed potatoes, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this bag of potatoes that I have and make mashed potatoes as well. So this is a pretty good sized ham. It's 6.25 pounds. Um, I did take it out earlier and make sure that it would fit in the Instant Pot. It barely does, but I am able to get the top on it. So I'm just gonna get that in there and get it started. So I have the ham in here now, and you can see it barely fits, but it does. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this light brown sugar, and then I'm gonna put the pineapple slices. And I'm not measuring this, I'm just putting some on it for the flavor. Just a handful and I'm just gonna pack it down. And that's what I'm gonna put the pineapples on top of. We are most excited about Easter dinner tonight because my mother has COPD and severe asthma, so of course she's been self-isolated for almost two months now at home. And I have two sisters. One of my sisters is her stay-home caretaker, so she has also been self-isolated with my mother. So I called my sister this morning who lives with our mama and had her set up a Zoom account and we get to have dinner live with my mama tonight on Zoom. So that's gonna be fun. She misses everybody, of course, especially her grandbabies. So we've been going over and visiting her through her screen door. And sitting on the porch, of course, that's still nothing like seeing everybody in person. So I'm sure she is really excited about that. Now I'm just gonna get the top on this and set it to ceiling. And I'm gonna cook it on high pressure for 30 minutes and then I'm gonna let it do a natural release okay I have these seven russet potatoes that I had in the refrigerator that I cooked in the instant pot yesterday and I'm just gonna get these cut up in this same bowl and that's what I'm gonna use 
for the potato salad. Today is the first day that I've taken a shower and actually put on something besides sleep clothes in quite a while now. Put on a little color since it's Easter. I acted like a little baby yesterday and cried because I finally hit a hundred subscribers and I know that is not a huge number <laughs> for YouTube um, it is a huge number for me if you um, if you do you YouTube you know that it's almost impossible to get to that first 100 so I cried actual tears like a big baby. I think I had 105 when I started this video. I know I probably shouldn't look at it <laughs> as much as I do and it may grow a little, but It's important to me, so I look a little too much, I think. And I cannot hold anything. I do not measure for potato salad anymore. Of course, it depends on how many potatoes you use, how much of everything that your family likes. There are a lot of things to consider, so I think it's kind of just up to your preference. Put some pink Himalayan salt. I'm gonna get everything mixed up. I like using russet potatoes for potato salad because they don't mush. They don't become like mashed potatoes with mayo and mustard and pickles. I hate that. You want to make sure that all of the potatoes get coated. Do not have any pepper. Every time somebody does actually go to the grocery store, I have been forgetting to put it on a list. Otherwise, I would have a lot of black pepper in here. I'll be cooking the eggs that are gonna go in here after I take the ham out. So for now, I'm just gonna put this in the refrigerator. Okay, so the ham has been cooking for 30 minutes on high pressure. And then I did a natural release for 
10 minutes. Ooh. So now I'm just going to get it out and set it to the side. Actually, I'm going to put it out. So this is the ham after I took it out, and now I'm just going to stick it in the oven for dinner in about an hour. So I realized I didn't want to waste the juice in the Instant Pot, so I'm going to put it over the ham. Do not try that at home. Okay, so I'm gonna do the 555 method for the eggs, which is a cup of water in the bottom. We're gonna do five minutes high pressure. And then five minute natural release. And then five minutes in cold water. High pressure, five minutes. So I'm just gonna get all of these potatoes washed for the mashed potatoes. I do leave the skin on, so I'm gonna scrub them with this little vegetable brush that I got at Walmart made by Progressive. Then as I wash them, I'm just gonna get them put over here and then we'll get them cut up and boiled to mash. These are Yukon gold potatoes. pink Himalayan salt in the water for the potatoes then I'm just gonna get the top put on those on the water so it can come to a boil while I cut the potatoes up they don't have to be cut any certain way um, because you are gonna mash them up Thank you. 
top put on those when they come to a boil. I'll turn them down a little bit. So I just started the water for the macaroni and cheese and I've got the corn put in this bowl. I'm just going to stick it in the microwave. And the potatoes are also done and ready to be mashed. So I'm going to get those drained and get them put in this big bowl. So I'm going to salt them first. It's a lot of potatoes, so don't be afraid to salt them. Then I'm going to add some butter. I'm going to get them mashed up a little bit first. I have a potato masher. And like I said earlier, we do prefer the skins to be on, but if you or your family does not, then just peel them. Okay, so I'm going to add some butter now. A lot. Probably three tablespoons. Thunder's loud. It's already four o'clock, so we are past the three o'clock tornadoes that they expected us to have. Okay, it's gonna take more butter. This is a lot of potatoes, y'all, but just add however much butter you want. I'll fill that little workout tomorrow. Now they're a lot more creamy. Gonna give them a taste. Gonna add some onion powder and some garlic salt. Up. They are perfect. So I'm going to get the top on them and get them put in the microwave as well. It's time to start the macaroni and cheese. This is just elbow pasta. Just gonna do a little bit. I have some mac and cheese from yesterday too that I'm gonna put in there. That. So the macaroni is done. I'm going to drain it a little bit. I'm going to 
just start adding in cheese while it's hot. This is just Kraft American Singles. Start with six pieces, slices. Kind of cover them up a little bit as I go so they can start melting. I'm just going to sprinkle some of this cheese on top. cooking these like the package directions say I'm probably gonna have to cook two batches because I don't have a bigger baking sheet only 4 30 and I'm not in a hurry so just gonna do four at a time so they have room um, when they bake okay so I just finished uh, the crescent rolls as the package direction said here's our ham mashed potatoes and then I put the macaroni in the oven for just a little bit and there's our corn potato salad deviled eggs and green beans and this will be our Easter dinner <laughs> So that has been our Easter. I hope everybody is safe and has everything they need and had a good Easter. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thank you all for watching.